Nearly $2 trillion have been wiped out in today's market in the United States. Let's get to the news because it's really bad. They're saying it's because of a lackluster job report, but I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of things. Number one, the job report. Number two, the housing crisis. Number three, people can't afford anything. Number four, a war is about to break out. Number five, you can add number five yourself. Breaking, Nasdaq plummets 1,000 points, setting a new record. The Nasdaq has, well, not a good record. Nasdaq has reached an unprecedented record, dropping 1,000 points in a single day. Never been down 8,000 points ever, not even intraday on the Nasdaq. Fox News reported on Monday. President Trump from two days ago. If Harris wins this election, you will quickly have a Kamala economic crash. Oops. Multiple brokerage, those are the websites, are down and are reporting errors amid the market crash, including Vanguard, Fidelity, Ameritrade, and Charles Schwab. And more. Wow, a lot more. Taiwan's stock market has suffered its worst day in 57 years. This is a quote from Joe Biden. There have been so many records, the stock market has hit under my presidency. Imagine if the other guy was here. Uh, markets crater? Check. The economy worsens? Check. War escalates? Check. Hmm. Definitely imagine if that other guy was here. Ooh, well, it might actually be bad. Total of $1.93 trillion was wiped out as of two hours ago probably still dropping as you watch this. From a few days ago, Mr. President, or the reporter, Mr. President, what do you want your legacy to be? Joe Biden answers that I cured the economy. Good job, Mr. President. Now go back to sleep. So, uh, economy, not doing so good. Well, we've been predicting this for, for months now. We've also said the only way for Donald Trump to win is to win on the economy. The problem was you couldn't speak about it. Well, that's been solved. Everyone's feeling it now. They've just lost thousands, tens of thousands, or potentially hundreds of thousands of savings. So you don't really need to speak about it anymore in any way. Everyone feels it. Wow. See you next video.